Hey guys, Solo Plan and Sexy Emblem on TV Fraser and welcome back. Finally, I'm sorry I um didn't take so long. Uh sorry I took uh ages, but um But uh yeah I you know had other plans like uh Stardew Valley and I also uh did a Friday Night Funkin' video. If you guys want that then Feel free to let me know, but the crux of the matter is I won't be happy playing it, yeah, but whatever. I don't really care. Um, I'll, uh, put these elsewhere. Usually that's, uh, pretty helpful, so. And, uh, how's the, how's the car looking for gas? Pretty much popped up, so there's the, uh, spaceship outpost. Um, first thing I can do is, like, uh, Melding pit and the rusty scaffolding. Now I have these two gloves, so I can finally climb it, which I couldn't do earlier. And that is cray cray because, wait, hold on. This is used to pull heavy weights up and down. Maybe I can help them somehow. Are you joking? <laughs> Where are the gloves go? I'm surprised the, um, the Raiders aren't still here, honestly. I mean, it was a pretty helpful place. Um, ah, there it is. Luckily, it doesn't take time to climb the rusty scaffolding, because otherwise I'd probably be, well, in the shite. And I think I used this. Um, I didn't actually get any input from my friends this time. They just said that, uh, air wasn't going to be an issue. Fuel is, and... I'm not 100% sure uh, how fuel could be a problem because usually they're pretty well fueled. Well, let's get out of here. I have a molding kit which is helpful, probably. Um, and I gotta check the cargo box. Um, probably should have grabbed the. Uh, My problem with the army, I definitely should have grabbed the um, ID badge, because I think I need that as well. What's this? No time to bury them, I can't believe they killed them all. Ow. It's locked. I think I've hit the front door on one. Okay. I didn't even actually notice that pile of bodies. I figured we just, you know, left them where they were. ID badge. That all I need. A bag of food, a blue blanket, a lighter, a green blanket, a like gold. I think that's all I need. I don't actually know like if there's a perfect way to get them all dead if you um also fought the sergeant as well. On your way to the outpost you can come from the panel oh, yeah, Okay. There's a cyber logo on that, so we can cross the flight to get the boat to have a drive. Looks like they abandoned it here. Yeah, but there is a very important thing. The keys are lab 13, I'll take it. Labus is lab 13, yep. Yeah. Alright, let's go through the gate. Yeah, I think I might need that, I'm not too sure. Some people also said that uh, I could cut the cut one of the, um, the dead body's fingers off. There it is. You mean this? From your effect. I told you the location of this facility was confidential. Don't look for any bright neon lights inside, but it's dead. So, come on, I'll find something around here inside. Yeah, it might be security measures waiting for us. Great. I have it. That's good. And here we are. Force. The time we're going to the force is melted in the sand around the Warning, the fence is evacuated. Provide a valid ID card. You're advised to comply. That doesn't sound good. Really, I think. Okay. Now. I got here, and apparently I could use the, if I had it, the knife or the screwdriver. Seriously? You know what? I'll just shut you off. This 
sure it work, I hope. What's it, that one? Okay, um... Actually, I think I'll leave that one off for now. So, that passes through there, that passes through there, that passes through there. That goes through there, um, that, that. Um, let's see if any of these can align. So if I go through that, we'll go there, there. That should work. Yeah. Well, finally, what took you so long? It's going to be cautious, precisely. Um, While the elevator is cooled up, I'll be on my way and see if I can uh, find that. I do have the screwdriver, thank you. I think I can use the knife for this, but I don't know. So, um. Just to show you some really, uh, someone's playing into the gungeon. I suppose that game's bloody difficult. You don't play this whole lot of screws. Well, you just so happen to have this, my fine gent. Please or not. Okay, well, I guess the middle plate. From what I can understand, I could probably use that with the welding kit. Um, which I do have on me. It's fortunate. Well, here we are. This goes to, uh... Okay, what is that? Uh, the right now. Yeah, I've already read this stuff. You've got to be kidding. Please tell me you are. Correct me if I'm wrong, but the moon is going to hit us for 12 hours. I don't know how we want to go there. It's the only way you have to believe me. I don't know if I have any reasons to believe you. Only enough, the moon's actually getting me further away from us every second. In real life, I mean. Right now, it's about the size of my little fingernail. Uh, in the... In my eyes in the sky. But, um... Eventually, it'll be no larger than possibly a seed or a pencil dot in a few thousand years. If you guys want to read this, you can pause and continue because I'm guessing Barry has different dialogue. Apparently I can just cut off the guy's finger and use it there, but I don't know, maybe I... And here it is. Here it is. Incredible. I told you it would be here. I'm sure you hadn't done me for a second. Actually, I did. I apologize. I'm mad, this looks impressive. It's like a regular spaceship with four one. Well, fancy it is, but I think that's all just yet. The spaceship with two rockets in the side, I see. One more shot is in here. So they took one shot and the other one behind. Why? They could have saved twice as many people. Maybe one more. They only, I mean, in America, they only really cared about who was worth saving. Some people just dumped in ditches. Sorry about that, but they ran in to get for a leader for four years. So. I mean, I can do that first, and I can out the other thing. I think that's good to like on the screen. So 
so it's something wrong with the fuel, like they said, so, um, uh, there was something about the gas, um, but, um, so, uh, just give me a moment, the fuel mixture, what's this? Oh, this one, here. Yeah. um, I think I remember this one. Uh, it was. Okay, never mind. Uh, I can't remember it. So, uh, let me just brief over some uh, future footage. With a bit of luck, it should still be there. Uh, Sorry, this might take a bit, uh, I'll just reset it. Actually, I'll come back to this later. Um, this is the opening with electronics. Uh, Opa, Cam Looser, I think it happened for the what was it? The duplexer, that was for the, um, so, while I'm uh, going up, I'll also, uh... Honestly, I'm reevaluating my life's choice of why I purchased this game, but still, it's a lot of fun, and you guys seem to enjoy it, so... I'll just, uh, snag this transmission belt. Don't mind if I do. Because the, uh, hatch is open. And, uh, the duplex we can go back in here. Yeah. So there we go, um, then I'll shoot back down the entrance. I didn't grab the, uh, thing because I, I did grab the, uh, metal plate because I figured it would be important. I'm pretty sure they wouldn't just give you something unless it was in a port. Mind you, they just give you the water sprayer and the only thing that's good for is the flamethrower. So, uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. And then the airplane. So I marked it down on my map, if I remember correctly, um, and then I put the transmission belt here. Do I use like the welding kit on it? I'm not entirely sure. Um, also, I don't really notice a huge difference, but um, for now, I'll just go into the uh, shuttle. I'll just skip through all this because I've already done it. Go down, you nut. A toolbox, here we go. I found the glue gun on the toolbox, seems to be out of power. Just to save some space, I'll stick the batteries in there. Yeah. Because the uh, air tanks are now working. Uh, it's just an engine calibrator, but there's nothing there. So, um, this will be a different scenario than last time. Unlike uh, most of the other things. So. I've found out basically what I want. Um, I need the engine calibrator. And uh, if there's another red light here, I'll check. So the air filter is installed. And nav chip. Or navigation or whatever. Um, so I'll just go down again. I 
Apparently there was a scenario where you can save Cody and Barry, but I'm not entirely sure where it is. I might do that like in my own time, because primarily I'm just trying to, uh, you know, get through the game right now, because, well, everyone enjoys it, or hold on. Is there another night, blah, 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 we erupt the outpost, the space gate, I don't know, um, I have one player will be the control of the ship. Well, I know a couple things, but next to nothing. Do I know what I'm doing, Kate? Absolutely not. Uh, and now I'll just go to the um, ship, I believe, the bus. Ah, uh, because I can grab the other. Uh, glue, and then I can uh, use the glue gun with the smudge, and uh, I also grab the Okay, I just discarded it. Um, yeah, I got the pressure on pushing this guy's finger front. Of course, I could have been a girl in the nose. Doesn't matter. I think Greystill plays uh, when he addresses the audience and says boys, but. Yeah, that doesn't matter. He's already admitted ways, is it? So, um. No, not with their hands. Um, I have the shovel, right? Yes, I do. Fortunately, I do. Um, I'll, I'll keep this crap on me because I usually forget that I, um, I'll put that away, I'll put that away. Because I don't think I need those no more. Um, I don't think I need the particular gloves either. I don't know how I keep a band on me. Oh, right, yeah, I was going to use it to, um, no, not with their hands. You have the shovel. Yes, I think that'll take away this time. Uh, apparently there was also a way you could complete it without actually having to um, use the car. Transponder, I'll shut this off. That thing will last for long enough, yep. Anyway, I pilot. Uh, I hope you don't mind, I'm just going to loot you. Check out manifest, let's take a look. Uh, very well. Voltimeters, navigation chips, I need those, and some noodles. I'm more than enough of those in my food box upstairs. <laughs> Uh, wires, sorted, gaskets, various sizes, air tank, dust and bolt, size 10 and 15. Well, I'll probably have several picks and single players in one playing people playground as well. Um, and to be blunt, uh, I don't think we really need, uh, I don't know exactly, I can't remember. We need navigation chips, I know that much. Uh, so we need two. Six, four, one. Five, that's level two, here we go. Uh, break it open with this, and I just got a notification, my phone went off. Probably bang stuff. Um, break it open, it takes seven minutes, let's see what's inside. What's this, Eve of electronic chips. An electronic chip, hopefully the navigation chip. Um, what else do I need? Um, there was that other thing I needed, but uh, I think it might be on the, uh... Oh, it's probably in the, uh, it's probably in the place where I, uh... It's probably in the, uh, place where all the, uh, other stuff is, so, uh... I'm not entirely sure, though. Uh, it's... Confusing. Uh, hold on, I just got a text from my friend. If you need the protective gloves, they're either on the crash, bike outside your, or in the... I didn't need Kate to die last time, I could have got them on the floor of the restaurant. Now, oh, thanks for the really late warning, guys. Oh god, I feel like an idiot now. Mind you, I probably should. I never really had a reason to check the restaurant. Of course, they're always there. Maybe they'll just live there by the army dudes. Uh, what a nut I am. There was always a reason to double check. Um, I'm gonna head back to uh, the city. And go back into lab 13, because I can. Not this one. There we go. Land side. 
Sorry, Cody. Rest in peace, mate. I still feel like a dick for doing that, actually. Here we go. Here we are. The lab. The vials here. The vials here. It's okay, guess I'll need to do these. Sleeping pod patients, visitor, recognize the cyber fixes. What am I looking at? Okay, uh, I regret it working with them, I had no idea. No idea about what? I'll tell you later. Let's focus on other things right now. Uh, so here's the no here's another note. Yeah, um, instability ratio is too high, you can't wait, we have to stop the operation, we can't stop it all consequences, will be catastrophic. Uh, so I need to make fuel, so I'll put these in here, and I'll put these in here. And there's a, there was usually a note there, um... Hold on, let me... Ah, crap. Uh, will this work? I'm not entirely sure. Um... Hold on. I got a, there was a connect thing with this, um, considering you like to breeze over things, I've added a little slip. Okay, they added a photograph. This is an important thing, um, so, let's see, what does this say? Just expand it. Fuel burning catalyst formula. This experimental liquid uh, greatly increases fuel power's output. Okay. Let me just see. Um, okay, I think that and that will do. Um, uh, and according to this, that as well. So, pressing button. the bottom, so I think that's all right. So I think I'm done here. Thanks, James. That's a fake name, obviously. I like keeping our people's private, like, like keeping people's names under wraps. Apparently, uh, like uh, I tried last time, I could have also cut the guy's finger off, but uh, to work for the uh, fingerprint, but uh, not enough fuel. Well, it just so happens that I actually happen to have some. Yeah. Yep. I fueled the car. And now let's be on our way back. Maybe I'm getting more resourceful or something. Maybe I actually might win. <laughs> so I doubt it. Cody's dead, so that's hardly a win. Well, alright. Let's sort this. Access granted. Here we go. Throw this open. I needed a... Uh, what was it? Was it this? Calibrator, was that right? Because there's also a weird device here. If I'll take both of them, uh, in case, because I can't remember. This is probably the worst time to forget things, but whatever. Now, before I do forget, I think I'll try and manage... Now, I'll put the stuff back first. Uh, I'll put this stuff on the uh, ship first, actually. Um, oh, I'll put um, the candle on the music, so hopefully it works. Wait, that crap. 
crack down below. That crack down below, I bet. I think my bottom dollar, then I have to catch it up. Um, luckily I still have it. I'm plugged in now, I need some, some materials all back. Just so happens that you have some. Yeah. It's not ergonomically perfect, but it'll have to do. It should work though. Nothing in this game is perfect, but it has to do. Set of circuit boards, slot, um, check, yeah. Now I go down. What's in the storage compartment? Okay, yeah, I found some spacesuits. Good, those are emergency suits, so I'll power the dock on the main base. Should I take them? No, I'll leave them there for now, I might need them later. That is cool. I always wanted to go to space, but the crux of the matter is. Uh, hold on, what was that? Engine calibrator, so I do need the calibrator. This is a lithium hydro or whatever. And there we go. Um, so. Now I just need to uh, manage everything else in that stupid uh, place, I think. Um, do I need to sort this stuff out? Here's what I'm going to do, prefer some previous footage again, because um, I don't want to forget about this. Um, also, if you guys want me to play like another game a lot, um, by the same people, like um, Like uh, deep sleep or something. I will give it a shot because I'm bound to. I mean, I love, I love the. Um, I've already loved this game, even though it's really, really annoying. Um, I'll give it a shot because I mean, I can. I can give it a, uh, I can give it a really good shot. Uh, let me just, uh, like I said, brief over this previous footage. I really don't know. What A lot of things I had to buff that up to uh, was it max? There we go. Um, sorry, I take a long time to do it in my previous footage, so you guys feel free to skip ahead. Ah, uh, can't believe I would spend half an hour trying to figure this crap out. Um, And then I go up with this one. So now it's mediocre. And then I apparently did this. And then I hit this button, apparently, so it's fair, and then what did I do? I reset, of course it is. <laughs> you have fun skipping ahead. I think I'm going to need an aspirin. I don't even know if I need to do this, but I think I'd better safe than sorry, so... Look I'm having a lot of fun. Ah, uh, let's see, do I need anything else? Uh, wish I'd done this sooner.
even though I hit this button. There we go. Ah, finally. So I think that's us. I don't know for certain, but um, maybe we can help. Maybe I can help, I'll help you carry something. Like? Don't even try. Okay, then fine. To yourself. Now, I need to uh, drop everything, I believe. Um, I'll just drop all the stuff that I don't need because. See ya, travel. You were. Uh, it's fun while you lasted. Now, if I got this wrong, it serves me well. I only got dead bird space. Am I ready? As I'll ever be, which is not very much. I think I really want when you are, David. Launch the ship. The world was ending. The moon that cracked into pieces was moving rapidly towards the planet. Both celestial bodies pulling each other apart. Like Io. Also seen green, well, some seem to rain. We didn't have time to check every last nut to steal. Like we did before the launch of rockets in the old days. Kate looked at you with her head on. Engine is ready, initiating launch procedure. Overriding safety protocols, manual controls, and gauge. That was open. We can uh, view a clear way towards the sky. Five, four, three, two. Buckle up, it's gonna be one hell of a ride. Yeah. One, zero. The acceleration force pushed you hard to your feet, squeezing all the air from your lungs. The rocket began its descent. You look back and see Barry on the sea, watching death and misery as forces and special effects are decades in the first year. The ship climbed to the sky where Kate was struggling with the power. Wait to travel alone, pleased with her, hearing a loud roar in the sky. He turned around to see it and get up. He silently watched his sword, punching into a hard piece of the ship's fist. Walking around the waistband to the side of the ship, he was close to the two of the other. He sat down and waited, looking at your ship going up and then going down. Sarge and his men were standing, good old Sarge, on top of the hill. He travelled far west into the last scene the whole squad raised their heads against the sky, chasing the bright light from your rocket. Would you look at that, when Sarge put his victory test, the kid actually did it. Good luck with whatever you find there, he added before he turned away. The whole squad decided to open their last bottle of whiskey and drink it, and the world around them started falling apart. The vessel was getting out of view. At least life support seemed to work fine. Because the default setting had been corrupted, you were forced to create the film of yourself. The gun was perfect, maximum efficiency and just a lot of the costs of the two cents. The full navigation in the With its help tape, it was guided to set the gun with the numbers, angles and coordinates, which was always good in the testing. It was all the calibers that came onto the board. It was supposed to be calibers to all the engines, making them very well coordinated. The thing you noticed in the back of the ship was thin. With your repairs, it proved to add the almost no errors. Kate managed to compensate for the slight aerodynamic changes with her piloting skills. She repaired a special catalyst for the fuel. It confused the main rockets to burn fuel quicker, but it also made the reaction much more powerful. So I win. You made it to the orbit and... Achievement unlocked! Cooking with gas! Okay, I did it! It was surprisingly a short way to the moon. Came through the ship towards the lunar base. This reminds me of Don't Escape 3. All the, um, all the crap in, sp in space, like, um... When you had to uh, catch the uh, stuff. Here we go. Incoming. Make sure this is a decent landing, please. It's a much softer landing than the last. Things like I can now play them. With a good fortune, everyone will be bloody safe this time. And I'm still alive, which is good. Is Kate alive? Kate, okay, are you alright? Uh, that wasn't one of my best lightnings. I've never seen you do any better. <laughs> Pretty good. It might have been, but it was my first time I've seen it. Barry's alive, obviously, so. Barry, are you hurt? I don't think so, just some bruises. Can't stand up. We have to move. We're losing air, David. Now it's time to use those spacesuits. So happens we have some. How utterly convenient that they're all just our size. Initiating the condition. Condition complete. 
Apparently there's gonna be like holidays in the moon in a few hundred years, I don't know. I probably, we probably won't be alive when they happen, but I don't care. I mean, unless we find a way to cheat death, which is highly unlikely. Air manual override mechanism. At least Kate still lives. In this one, so... gonna blow up, you don't have to make a big deal about it. My deal is the moon, so... Um... There we go! Well, welcome to the moon. Alright, I think it's time to remove the suit. Great, because I'm almost out of oxygen. Okay, what now? Let's look around. I think I need to go into this one first, but uh, I don't know, so... The card reader, um... There's a slot for an access card. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, never mind. You can't see anything. Those spacesuits are much smaller than they were when we last put them on. What are those? Okay, sleeping pods. Why are people here? You said they were all left. You said they went to a different dimension or something. They did. This is what they left behind. Okay, you said they escaped. They did, David. Check out their neutral activity monitors. They're flat because their bodies are here sleeping. But their minds left this place, they travelled through a realm of dream. Through the realm of dreams and already woke up in safety months ago. Pods just sustain this empty bodies here. Not that it's required for any reason. Anyone wanted to get back, they still can, at least for now. Well, I've got some questions. Why do the sleep pods have to be on the moon? Why even bother flying here if they had put you in this pod? Their pods are extremely susceptible to any interference. Especially radio waves. Humanity used to pr produce a giant mess of electronic waves of various frequencies. Radio broadcast, TV communications, I can't go on and on. Sariel found the next two were possible to come up with a location desolate enough for their sleeper for their sleeper pods to work as intended. Faraday cage shielding. Faraday, yeah, they were another company, weren't they? Faraday Faraday's shielding was particularly effective, but it was apparently causing some side effects. Early experiments did some awful failures. They finally came up with the idea that the only things that would shield the sleeping pods well enough would be the moon. I'll just ask these. You guys can uh, brief through them. Um, but I, I mean, I can look through them uh, in my in my footage uh, if you want. You guys can just imagine I'm reading them out loud, but I don't want to waste enough much more time because. You guys can pause, I'll give you a second or two of um. So the Rum of Dreams is quite poetic. Your life? It's like, what do we have to lose? Your life? Oh god. Stephen Kirvin, or whatever that says. I'm not very good at reading pixelated messages. Um. Access granted. Do it. Access granted. Sleeper pod control unlocked. It was very fortunate that someone just decided to leave their like um, their like number one like the elite member card just lying on the ground. No, oh, no, 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 no. Check it again. Maybe it's just a glitch. Still say space controller corrupted. It has already happened. It keeps happening. Kate, okay, you're not making any sense. Kate, okay, yeah? What's the face controller? It's inside the chamber. This 
Tate's here, she can talk a lot more. Um, I'm gonna... That sounds a lot like, um, uh, uh, there was a, there was a game I played quite similar to this. Uh, I can't remember the name, but, um, basically we just went to a different realm. Paradox, self-conscious statements. Use them in Portal 2. Sorry if I was mean to you. Oh, it's okay. That's how you roll, right? I know you're a good person, Kate, even if you don't want the world to know. See you around. Bye, big man. Alright, David, so here we are. At the end of the road. Close to the beginning. I wouldn't have made it here if it wasn't for you. Are you getting emotional now? <laughs> I think I've spent too much time with you. But you have to wake up in a bed in a world where I have big, where I have a of lattes. Yeah. I don't drink coffee, but I mean, I like, I, I don't, maybe I'll try a latte one time. I hope that's what happens to me too. Bye David, I'll we'll meet again. Just don't point your gun at me if we do, okay? Can't promise that. Okay, yes. I don't like this idea, David. I know what you want to say, and I don't like it. To be honest, I have no idea if this does anything, or if we're just being delusional. Nothing to lose, right? We came this far, might as well give it a shot. Want me to go first? No, it's okay. You seem to be the one who knows which button to press. Hey, David? Yes? You say you can find ourselves anywhere, in any world? That's how I understand it. You think? You think I'll see her? Maggie? My wife? I don't know, Barry. But I think there's a chance you will. Say hello to her for me. Sure thing, David. Sure thing. Now it's my turn. Ow. Oh, yeah, of course. Perfect bloody timing, plot armor. Yeah, I get it, the moon's crashing, it's falling to earth, we get it. I can the MMG, whatever. Do it. Oh, shite. Shattering. So in that shadow is going to be a huge vacuum. In that shadow is an earth and up to the gravity cell sucking out. Up to the middle of space, and we don't want to do that. We don't want to be in the vacuum of space. I've already done that enough in the moment. Okay, here we go. The barn. The restaurant. Cyril picks this place. Cyril picks his office. The bus. The... The launch site or whatever. And my camp. And I'm back! What a nightmare. It all felt so real. I feel like something is missing. Like I didn't do something important. But what? A blurry memory that disappeared too fast. I don't remember. Well, I guess it was just a dream. Well. I guess that is technically where we are into the game, unless there's more. If you guys want me to do a playthrough of this again, and try and save, like, everyone, because apparently there is a way, and try and get, like, different achievements, or show you how to get them, just let me know down in the comments. But for now, I think this is the final episode. I don't know for certain. But... 
I did enjoy this. I really did. I did enjoy this game. It was a lot of fun. The, uh... The surge of emotion that shot through me when I saved everyone's lives was... Really, really... I saved Barry lot this time. I saved Cody last time. I hope this won't save the code. I know I just said that about floppy disks. Perhaps they contain memories. I'll try and get a true ending, like a full ending. Because if I go to, um, here, so close, awakening, unlock the awakening mode. If I view all my achievements, I have, uh, I have these. But I'll try and get, like, all the achievements. That's what I want to do. See? Disinfestation, get the perfect chemistry major. Might want gas. Yeah, uh, treasure hunter, at least you tried. Let's go to Snowman, which is the last snowman in the world. Tall guy, learn this and about... Learn this and that about your neighborhood. The family, make sure everyone survives. The level, the soul survive. I don't know how you're going to get that. Pyromaniac, so that's what the item is for. That's where you make the uh, flamethrower. I don't think I did, though. Uh, mostly walking, don't use the car. Tell you what, guys and girls. If this video gets five likes, I guarantee you, I will make walkthroughs, even though they'll take a long time, on how to get all these bloody achievements. And there's a lot of them. I'll also try and get my... Uh, I'll probably, away from it, I'll probably try and get my best for this, and... I might do chemistry major, I'm not sure though. It was a lot of fun, guys and girls, playing this game for you. But I'm afraid I think this is where... I think our little streak ends here with this game. Of course, five likes, more reviews. You guys become happy because I make these. And I play more in my free time. But hey. Why worry? about something that I don't want to, I don't mind doing in my own time if you guys don't want to watch me do it. It's okay. I will keep on playing this game in my own time. But if you guys want to watch me do the same thing over and over and over again, like in that case, then you know what to do. Just hit the like button. But anyway, I've babbled along long enough. Thank you everyone so much for watching this video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell, all that jazz. And um, like I said before, this isn't the last episode. It's all up to you. If you're feeling generous, why not share this with your friends. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Deuces!